Well, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. It's the start of a new week of vlogs, and we are off to Bean Bar, our favorite, because they have a Valentine's Day flight. They do a different coffee flight every month, and this month they have two different Valentine's Day flights. So we're gonna go and hope that not everyone in Tampa had the same idea since it's the Saturday before Valentine's Day, but delicious coffee, we must go. And then tonight, we're heading to Sir Henry's Haunted Valentine's. It's not a media event, so I won't be able to film the trails for you. Uh, they don't do a media event for the Valentine's Day trail because there's only two nights of it, so just not necessary. So we are going, and I believe my spooky crew, Jess, Juan, and Michael, are also going to be there tonight. So it should be a good time in the Valentine's Day fog and an exciting Saturday. So let's start the vlog. Well, it is definitely a spring day in Florida. I am wearing shorts, it is 81 degrees, and I just binge watched Jacqueline's Blizzard vlogs where they had like so many feet of snow and they're stuck inside their house with all the snow. And I'm like, meanwhile in Florida, we're in shorts and it's spring. <laughs> uh, I, I think I think the chilly weather might be done. Uh, the forecast is looking like, we still got some nice days in the 70s coming up, but I think everything has turned. I think winter is done here. Might be premature. I don't know what, what the groundhog said. Uh, spring started immediately, no shadow, so. All right, well, there you go. Phil, Phil told us. Phil said it's spring, so there you go. They have, uh, I think it was Lucy the Lobster in Canada. Okay. Uh, she said six more weeks of winter for them, so they got more winter going up in Canada, but <laughs> Phil said it's spring. So I got a butter croissant, and Mike got a bagel to go with our plates. So here's the first flight. We have the Sweetheart, the Vanilla Rose, the Red Velvet, and the Be Mine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So originally the Sweetheart had like the Sweetheart candies on it. It doesn't look like it has that now, but it should taste delicious anyway. Look how pretty. All right, and here's the second flight. This is the box of chocolates. So I've got strawberry cream, cocoa truffle, raspberry white chocolate, chocolate caramel, and it comes with a little box of chocolates. So cute. Okay, well we're sitting in traffic on the way home now. It's moving, but it's traffic. Results from the flights. The Be Mine was a favorite. The strawberry cream was a favorite. Delicious, like a chocolate covered strawberry. The vanilla rose was very good, although it got very sweet. Uh, we really liked the chocolate caramel. I think those are all our favorites, right? You liked the cocoa truffle. Yeah, the cocoa truffle was good too. Not so much. The sweetheart was just sweet. I really couldn't tell what that was supposed to be. The raspberry white chocolate, meh. The red velvet, meh. But uh, I ended up getting a Be Mine hot to go because I could tell it had actual honey in it. And I just knew it was gonna be better hot because it was a honey lavender. Um, and it is definitely better hot. It is, it is my favorite of the flight because it had the most depth of flavor to it. So very good as a hot. I'm gonna enjoy that this afternoon uh, when we get home. I have a few things to do on my to-do list. We've got some trip planning to do because we do have a trip coming up, secrets. And uh, then tonight is Sir Henry. So yeah, we just gotta sit through Tampa traffic at 2.16 on a Saturday for no particular reason. I love it. So if you wanna make this olive salsa, I've made this in the vlogs before. This is a family recipe. We got it from my uncle, don't know where he got it from. But these are the ingredients and you basically just chop it up, mix it all together as you're about to see me do. And it's very good. I highly recommend making it the day before you want to eat it because then everything gets marinated together and it's even better. So let's make it. I once felt I'm done with the defense, throw back and 
climbed over your fence, had to show, show you that I was a mess. So you were shrugging your shoulders, some close stuff. That's what I told you. Soon enough, everything started to change. Cause there's no going back, no going back. There's no going back to your own life. Not living in the past, we're over that. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying. There it is. I'm about to do a taste test with the chip to make sure I think the balance is right. As you saw, I added some green olives. I'm fairly certain my dad always added green olives to this. The recipe doesn't call for it, but I remember it having green olives in it. So I added some green olives and we love olives in this household. So too much olives is never an issue. Well, it's Saturday evening and we are headed off to Sir Henry's Haunted Trail for a little spooky Valentine's Day with some spooky, a spooky, <laughs> with some spooky friends. Jess, Juan, and Michael are gonna be there. Oh, it's gonna be a good time. I do enjoy the haunts during all of the different holidays. So yeah, excited to go see what they have in store for us this year. We have the first time slot, so it's nice and quiet right now. Should be a fun night. Ooh, exciting. All right, I've been here two seconds and I've already gotten scared by the girl of stilts. Oh, already, got me. I wasn't expecting, she, she was like hiding right here. So I walked in and she came out and I was like, oh God. So. Oh, there's a football player. Nice. Yeah, so. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you play. You play today. Down. Set. Yoink. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so I haven't even gotten my wristband on yet, and I'm already just getting terrified. Off to a good start. The snowball. Chuck is here. We've got Papa's Peanuts, which is new. We're gonna have to check that out. We've got our photo op for the season. We've got some lemonade. We got Cupid here. Lots of characters milling about. Waiting on our friends to arrive before we start doing trails, but it looks so good. There's Poppy. Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day, Poppy. <laughs> Just a lovely Valentine's Day couple here. here for date night. And we've got like a whole Valentine's Day section. Oh, so cute. Ooh, white chocolate Oreos. All sorts of goodies. Yum. Oh, I found Cupid. Starting with love potion number 13. I know. Let's do it. They're emerging. <laughs> they survived. How was it? How was it, crew? I got a head to the nose. Oh no! Not a headbutt. <laughs> Like right on top of me. <laughs> and then I was like, shit. Because like, like, you're holding all of us together. Oh, no, you're <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
an arrow you can spare. Yeah, arrow you can spare. Oh, 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 <laughs> Got low potion now. Don't need the arrows. Oh, that looks pretty though. I like you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I forgot to film the entrance, but I'll film when we're leaving. We're doing the second house now. Sounds good. Some of these guys first this time. That was Blackthorn in We Had a Blast. It was so much fun. Loved it. Look at this giant thing of boiled peanuts we got from Papa's Peanuts. It's so much peanuts. <laughs> Way too many peanuts. Okay, well it's gotten quite busy. We've had a wonderful time. We are getting ready to head out now. Listen, I love the trails here, but my favorite thing is this. All the characters roaming around. She won't make it out, I promise. Oh, well, then you'll never see this vlog. When you got posted, <laughs> then you die. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I know, I'm judging him too. You post it and you die. <laughs> That's my favorite part. It's the characters, it's the roaming characters, it's the courtyard. Like, the trails are fun. But it's all about the courtyard and just hanging out and meeting all the characters. Chef's kiss, so good. Post Sir Henry's tradition. Chilies. Quesadilla. Triple dipper. We're back home from Sir Henry's. That was an absolute blast. I would tell you guys to go check it out, but that was it. Tonight was the final night. There's only two nights of it, last night and tonight. So that was it. Uh, but. Had an absolute blast. The cast there is just, I love the courtyard characters so much. The interactions are so much fun. Uh, they don't do a ton of updates to the trails for this because it's only a two night event. Um, but they, they theme it, um, so it was a lot of fun. So now we have to wait until Halloween for another Sir Henry's or any other haunts. Gotta wait the whole rest of the way, like seven months, but we'll survive. So. I vlogged a lot today. I'm gonna sign off. Tomorrow is Super Bowl Sunday. We've got more food to make. We've got some cleaning to do. I'll see you guys then. Good morning, everyone. I look like a hot mess. And that's fine because I'm about to do some house cleaning so I don't need to look cute for it. So I have started uh, spraying down the shower. So I'm gonna clean out the shower. And now I'm gonna go in my office and start organizing there. Don't you love this like sticky straight out piece of hair? Uh, so I'm gonna organize my office a little bit. And I know I like watching time lapses of people like clean and organize things. So I figured you guys might too. So we're gonna pop in there. We're gonna pop into my office and uh, do some much needing dusting and reorganization of that one side of my office that has just become a catch all. So it's not gonna be very long. It's not gonna be a ton of work. So let's just get it done. Cause then I need to start editing the weekly vlog for tomorrow. And then eventually it's time to make Super Bowl food. So. Yeah, let's go do this. Ash has already come in here and started standing guard. Right? Yeah. so much time trying to figure out a way to display both popcorn buckets. This is what I'm settling on for now, but I'm not happy with it. It's too much clutter. I'm gonna spend my whole time. I have a lot of just trying to arrange it and uh, we'll come back to it another time. <laughs>
Okay, so aside from figuring out what's going to stay and what's going to leave on the dis display on a day where I'm feeling more motivated, we are complete. Got that all cleaned off. Everything's dusted. Got all the extra stuff off my treadmill so I can actually roll it under my desk and use it the next few days. That's my makeup mirror. Sometimes I put it up there, sometimes I just leave it on the ground, and then I'm going to get a hook to hang my headphones on the side of my desk so they don't just have to sit with their cord hanging around. The office is done. I need to move the tissues. Right, boys? But these boys, I think, are ready for a trip outside. You want to go outside? Yeah, they do. So, I am done cleaning the office. It's time to start editing the vlog. All right, so it is later on Sunday. I've showered, I've done most of the vlog editing, and now I'm gonna start doing some prep work on our Super Bowl food. So the first thing I'm gonna do is clean a bunch of jalapenos because we're gonna have some jalapeno poppers. I'm gonna shred some cheese, dice some cheese. It's a lot of cheese in these dishes, <laughs> as you might expect. So I don't think I'm gonna time lapse all of this because it's just gonna be a lot, um, but I'll show you the recipes as I make them. There we have jalapenos prepped to become poppers. Woo! Jalapeno prepped poppers. I've got some olives marinating here. You're proud for, of getting through that tongue yes, twister? Yes, I am. Some olives marinating for a dirty martini dip. I said this in last week's vlog, as he runs away from being on camera. I said in last week's Still vlog <laughs> that we don't, we have no skin in the game. Who are you rooting for? Yeah. Alright, well, I have to root for the Chiefs because I'm Team Taylor Swift and I want her boyfriend to be happy. So, <laughs> oh, go Chiefs. I really don't care. I um, have no interest in either one of these teams. The media side of it has been annoying as hell. Like, leave the girl alone, let her enjoy her boyfriend. Like, her boyfriend's super cute, just let her enjoy him. Um, but she's there. She made it from Tokyo. I know we were all very, very, very concerned and she made it. So yay, Taylor. I hope your boyfriend wins and let's make some buffalo chicken dip. All right, there's the jalapeno poppers complete. They look amazing. Okay, so the spread is done. So this is the dirty martini dip. I'll leave the recipes for all these down below, but dirty martini dip. We have my family's olive salsa. Buffalo chicken dip and the poppers. Now to enjoy. Halftime show time. It's Usher. Well, Taylor Swift's boyfriend won. So it was kind of exciting actually because it went into overtime. So kind of fun game. It's time to go to bed. So good morning everyone. It is Monday and I just want to show you my maple tree because it is covered in buds. So it's uh, February 12th. You know, Canada's digging out a whole bunch of snow and uh, my tree's blooming for spring. <laughs> Just barely finally lost its leaves and now it's like, mm, time for new ones. So, yep, maple tree is budding, ready for spring. <laughs> and it is currently 79 degrees outside, so it is appropriate. So hey guys, Colby just came in begging me, so I'm probably gonna have to go take them. The vacuum's vacuuming. I think the best time to start the camera. All right, let me take these dogs out. We'll chat on the back porch where it's quieter. All right, babies, let's go. Come on, you wanted to go out, let's go. Come on, stinker. <laughs> well, I was about to tell you what temperature it is outside, but my watch just popped up with a notification, so I can't tell what temperature it is but uh it's definitely shorts and t-shirt weather that's for sure colby you're the one that wanted me to bring you out here colby let's go go on <laughs> uh, all right so yeah it is there's a cold front coming through apparently because it's gonna be chillier tomorrow but right now it is toasty and not so nice out, but oh, Monday, Monday, Monday. 
So I had a meeting, but I'm getting ready to do some walking on the treadmill. And the dogs wanted to come out here, so I figured I'd bring them out before I get busy with that. But I had something I wanted to talk about, and I can't remember what it was. Oh, <laughs> I remember now. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't necessarily a happy thing. Um, but we noticed yesterday that the tumor that's like right here on Ash's shoulder is getting so much bigger. Like, it's right in a one of the like, giant tufts of fur he has right around his neck and so it stays pretty well hidden uh, but now you can kind of just see it through the fur um, it was at like golf ball size and now I feel like it's getting quite a bit larger than golf ball size like I can see it right now looking just at him on his profile like it's just sticking out now which <sighs> we realized that yesterday and it's just sad because there's nothing we can do at this point we just keep hoping that they won't grow you know like that they'll just slow down um, I don't think really much has happened with his paw I think his paws stayed about the same but now that one's getting so much bigger yeah I just wanted to document that because I haven't really given any updates with him because there's really not much to do um, but I don't like that it feels like it's all of a sudden accelerating growth which his paw did the same thing, it like accelerated growth and then it stopped. So, I mean, there's always a chance that this is like in a growth spurt and it'll stop. It's just, you know, having to have those real un, ungreat thoughts of what the future holds here and the reality check that, you know, we hope we have a lot more time with him, but we don't really know. And that's tough. <sighs> So, yeah, I was about to say not to bring down the mood, but but I know you guys love the dogs and I know you guys um, love watching them in the videos and so I know you care for them too. So I do want to keep you guys posted with that and keep you guys updated with what's going on with them. Um, doesn't seem to bother him at all. He does not seem bothered by either one, but yeah. I, I don't know how long before that becomes an issue, but... They were both just sniffing the air together, it was really cute. Everybody's sniffing the air. What's in the air right now, huh? Everybody's sniffing. Well, it's Monday evening and I've had a busy work day. I've got a big grant that's due on Wednesday, so I had meetings today, I had a bunch of work to do on it. So I actually did my treadmill. I did actually pull it out. I watched about 45 minutes of The Last of Us 2. I walked for about 45 minutes while I was getting some of the like busy work of the grant done. But now I wanna actually do my planner. Even though it's like the end of the day, I wanna get my planner done for the rest of the week and to get everything that I need to do for this grant sorted in my brain. There's not that much left. I've got it pretty much done, but it's due Wednesday night. So I wanna be prepared. Here's my wacky planner for the week using up a sticker pack. Uh, my boss called in the middle of that, so if there's a weird cut, it's because my boss called, so we had a little chat, and I finished my planner. So now I'm going to fill it out while I finish watching Jacqueline's vlog here, and that's going to be it for work day. Uh-oh. I've got rain on the TV, but... We've got rain in real life. Uh-oh, Bean. Oh, thunder. We haven't had thunder in a while. Wow. 
Well, so I'm just sitting here reading. Heard the rain. We got thunder and lightning. Is that what being came in? Come yeah, on. there's thunder and lightning happening. Got a little rain coming through. He's like, uh oh, dad, protect me. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. But mom loves it. This is perfect reading weather. We've got rain on the TV and rain in real life. So hey guys, happy Tuesday. I am out grabbing us some Starbucks. There's a new Starbucks drink, so I had to come out and try it. It is a chocolate hazelnut cookie cold brew. <laughs> almost said cold foam cold brew but I don't think you have to say both of those things I don't know how I'm gonna feel about the chocolate cold foam I think I've had the mocha cold foam before and it wasn't like my favorite thing ever but I like to try new things I have a ton of work to do on this grant that's due tomorrow so I felt like I needed coffee to come in and be focused okay so here it is you can see the crumbles on top let's give it a sample and see what we think Pretty tasty. All the hazelnuts on the bottom, so I need to get home and stir it. But you definitely get the chocolate from it. A little bit of cookie taste to it, but it's definitely no pistachio cream, and that's already gone. It's so short-lived, it's basically just the month of January. It's not gonna be like the pistachio cream where it's making me come out to Starbucks in order to get it, which I tried to get it as many times as I could in the month of January because I love it. Now well, it's time for dinner, and I'm gonna make this Szechuan pork Noodle stir fry from HelloFresh. And there we have it, Mike's bowl. My bowl. Looks good. Well, good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Happy Valentine's Day. We had quite the rough night over here last night. Ash was not feeling well. He was having some sort of stomach issue. So he woke us up at 2 a.m., 4 a.m., and 6 a.m. to go out. Now, depending on the situation, Mike and I will take turns as far as who's taking them out. Uh, in this case, Ash was waking me up because I am the lighter sleeper and he knows that. He knows, they all know, Foster, Foster really has issues in the middle of the night, but Colby and Ash both know that if they need to go in the middle of the night, I'm the one to wake up. <laughs> and unfortunately, as I think is common, Mike goes right back to sleep. Like I could hear him like come back into bed, his head would hit the pillow and he would like immediately be snoring again. And I'm laying there for the next 30 minutes, one, making sure that Ash is good. So kind of waiting to hear him settle and lay back down. And then two, get myself to fall back asleep. <laughs> My first thought when he was waking me up every two hours is I don't know how people have kids. Like I do not understand how those of you out there who have kids do that like every single night. <laughs> and some of you out there have multiple kids. So you did that once for years and then you're like, you know what? I wanna do that again. And you had a second kid or a third kid and you've been dealing with interrupted sleep like that for like years and years and years and i don't know how you do it i don't know how you do it well guys it is later it's already wednesday evening i have submitted the grant mike went to check because there's a food truck here today good news mike says the truck is taking orders he is ordered so i'm gonna go set the table make us some drinks and that's gonna be our valentine's day dinner Kielbasa and pierogies. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we both got kielbasa with half potato and cheese, half potato bacon sauerkraut pierogies. There we go. And then Mike also got some potato pancakes. Yum. Well, the Super Bowl ad worked. Mike has requested the Dun King's drink. <laughs> Best commercial of Super Bowl. So I left my vlogging camera at home because I thought I was just running out to Publix to get a couple things. Then Mike messaged asking if I would get the Dung 
King's drink that the advertising worked on him, so he wanted it. So I had to get one as well. I did not get mine with the Duncan skewer that has the little munchkins on it that's in the commercial. I just went for the drink, but yeah, I'm waiting to pick that up now and take that home and we'll do a quick for science taste test on the Dunking's drink, the Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, best commercial of the Super Bowl. If you don't agree, comment down below and let me know what your favorite Super Bowl commercial was, but that was by far our favorite. And all the different ones that they're putting out as reels, so funny. All right, the foam's already kind of gone away in the drive home, but there it is. It had cold foam and it has the cinnamon on top. And then there it is. There's the dipper, the skewer <laughs> for Mike's drink. Mmm. There you go. I'll go deliver it to him now. <laughs> okay guys, it's Thursday evening. I am walking. I'm gonna watch Last of Us. I have 30 minutes left in this episode. And I'm gonna call it a day, and it's my Friday, and it's gonna be a four-day weekend because it's President's Day weekend. So I flexed my hours in order to have tomorrow off, and then I have Monday off. So it's a four-day weekend. I'm very excited for it. I'm still debating on whether or not I'm going to full vlog Mardi Gras tomorrow, or if I'm just going to show clips in this video. We're gonna see how I feel tomorrow. So you'll find out one way or another, because I'll tell you if there's gonna be a separate Mardi Gras vlog or not. I am planning to go back to Mardi Gras another time, and that one I will for sure vlog. It just depends on what mood I'm in tomorrow because I'm gonna be there with Michael. Haven't seen him since the end of November, I think. And so I might just want Bessie Day and just hang out and chat with him and not vlog it. But I know we're gonna be trying foods, so I might at least vlog the foods to show you. One way or another, You'll find out very soon. But for now, let me go walk and watch this video. I think this is going to be dinner tonight. Beria style pork tacos with pico de gallo. Sounds good. I was going to make the pasta, but I think I'm feeling the tacos. So let's do that. The finished birria tacos with the sauce to dip and I have sour cream added to mine. Well the birria tacos were delicious so now I need to edit the vlog for tomorrow and then I'm gonna do some more reading. I'm almost halfway so that's exciting. Um, I already have my fanny pack packed for tomorrow and my outfit picked out. I am ready to go to Mardi Gras but it's also Traders Night. There's a new episode of Traders. So I need to get this editing done so I can get some reading done and I can watch Traders and go to bed and get ready for fun adventures tomorrow. Can we just take a moment to admire this dog? <laughs> Who got himself perfectly burrowed into a little igloo. We did not do this. He did this himself. And the little tail. And this little face. So cute. Well, hello everyone. Happy Mardi Gras. Got this spooky guy with me. <laughs> and we are heading into Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras 2024. Let's try some food. See some celebration. Maybe catch some beads. We'll see. It's a busy day. It's a holiday weekend. We'll see what we get up to.
<laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Well, you know I had to come here. Mm. So exciting to be back. Woo! Yes. So it just opened. Okay. I do enjoy it. It's not my aliens. But oh, this is cool. I like it. Very cool. This is where my aliens were. All right, be my aliens. It is Saturday morning now and I need to film an end to the weekly vlog. I did not end up doing a full Mardi Gras vlog yesterday. I got there and the park was packed. I mean, I knew it was a holiday weekend, but thought maybe since it was Friday, we'd luck out. It wouldn't be in the thick of crowds, but it's also supposed to be raining this whole weekend. So I think a lot of people came to the parks yesterday and I think local kids may have had the day off of school as well. So as soon as we got in the gates, I'm like, oh, this is too many people. <laughs> so we tried a bunch of foods and I did film the foods, film some tribute store. The tribute store was nice and quiet, thankfully. We did not stick around for the parade because there were too many people. I did get to see my friend a spooky friend who was working his first ever Mardi Gras. So I did get some beads. I got three beads from him. So this is my friend. Uh, he hasn't worked Horror Nights the past couple years. Uh, his last year was 2021, but then this is his first ever Mardi Gras. So it was really fun to get to reunite with him and get some beads. But 
you know, usually when I go to Mardi Gras, I love to interact with the actors and kind of chat Mardi Gras and get ready to see the parade. So I interact with all the performers I can interact with. There were so many people around the performers that it wasn't even conducive to that. So we made the decision pretty early on, like these are too many people to try to see the parade tonight. Cause then you have to get the parade spot really early and you're going to be fighting people for some beads. So I am planning to go back to Mardi Gras another night. And when I go for that trip, I will vlog everything and really, I like to have a Mardi Gras vlog. I like to look back on a particular Mardi Gras and see my performer friends and all and see the parade. So I do plan to go back. Um, but since we weren't doing the parade, we did go and rope drop Cursed Coconut Club. And while it was not the dead Coconut Club, I loved it. This was a lot better than the last minute little Christmas overlay they did this past year where they just threw on some Christmas lights. It was very well themed. Uh, my friend that was with us said that they'd even added more since opening weekend. Opening weekend he went and it didn't have as much decor as it did yesterday. So I loved it. So we went upstairs because we knew there was some pine straw, spruce, horror nights, Easter eggs. And while we were up there, we saw this guitarist setting up. We're like, oh my gosh, he looks like pine, like, oh my gosh, it's pine straw, Bruce in the flesh, which if you're not a Halloween Horror Nights fan, Pine Straw was the performer that was featured in Darkest Deal, which is my favorite house from last year. And so there was really no one else sitting up there yet. So we took a table like right in front of where he was performing and he started a set and then the siren started a set downstairs. So he stopped playing and they did their 20 minute set much to Michael's dismay because he's not a fan of the sirens but they did their set and then our guitarist who we found out his name is David he started and he was amazing we absolutely loved it it was super surreal it felt like we were in the darkest deal it felt like we were there in the setting and there was a Mardi Gras character roaming around because it's supposed to be a speakeasy upstairs and that character was a little creepy and he greeted us when we came upstairs and then at one point he came and just stood and watched David performing so we're like is that the collector <laughs> like is that the collector in disguise I think it might be so we devised this whole plot that that guy was actually the collector we we're in modern times that guy is the collector in disguise and this was Pine Straw Spruce's grandson David Spruce <laughs> who is performing for us. And so every time the guy that was a collector came by, we're like, don't look at him. Don't sell your soul. <laughs> so it was a blast. Uh, they would alternate sets. So David would play a set and the Sirens would play a set downstairs. He stayed for all three of his sets. I think the last one he did was my favorite. He played House of the Rising Sun. I think I have some clips. I adored that. So it was a wonderful time we spent a solid like three and a half hours in Cursed Coconut, which is not the plan, but apparently that's what we do. We go to Coconut Club and hang out for three hours at a time. Uh, but I loved it. I had an absolute blast. I assume those performers are probably only there on the weekends, but Cursed Coconut's only open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I don't know, maybe they're there Thursday through Sunday. Either way, I was so glad we caught that. I probably won't get to see that again if I go back to Mardi Gras because I'll want to see the parade and I will try to get back to Coconut after the parade to see if David's performing again because if he is I will want to watch another set because I thought he was amazing and come to find out from a friend that he was actually on American Idol like a decade ago. He, he never made the finals but he made it on the show way back when. So he was amazing, had a wonderful time. A wonderful first Mardi Gras even if it was just trying all the food sometimes I get there and I'm too busy to try food so yesterday it was food heavy I hope you guys enjoy the little clips I just shared uh, and this explanation for why there wasn't a full vlog but it was a blast and I will be back so with that I'm gonna sign off for the weekly vlog but I will see you guys again next week for a little more chill normal at home vlog a lot less activity <laughs> I think at least nothing in the books at the moment so I will see you guys then. Bye.